How's it going, Canary Media? This is Julian Spector. I am currently in a battery-powered vehicle on my way to see a power plant that uh, provides energy storage to the grid using batteries that used to be in electric vehicles. Uh, that's the concept of a second life, uh, that instead of throwing away an old EV battery or having to recycle it, which costs money, you can actually use some of them uh, to store solar power, store grid power, and uh, discharge it when it's useful. So I'm heading out to Lancaster, California. This is the northern part of LA County. It's the western part of the Mojave Desert, so much more dry, arid landscape. And you're gonna see a company that is already operating a Second Life battery plant, uh, competing in the California ISO power markets and uh, apparently making money at it. Uh, here's the sneak peek. This is Freeman Hall. CEO of B2U Storage Solutions, and he's standing in front of a container filled with used Nissan Leaf batteries. Freeman's company figured out an efficient way to reuse these car batteries in their original casings to store power for the grid. Now they operate a second life battery plant with 2.75 megawatts and four megawatt hours of storage attached to a one megawatt solar plant. That's small for an energy storage plant these days, but huge for one made of used EV batteries. Well, it's about uh, 1030 in the morning and uh, because power prices, wholesale power prices are low, the sun is shining and solar all across the state is doing its thing, we are charging these batteries. And in fact, uh, this is solar charged battery storage. We have on-site solar just behind us here. And so we'll be charging slowly throughout the day. And then as the sun starts to go down, the grid ramps to peak our plants and we lose our solar, will be discharging these batteries to achieve the higher prices at that time. Numerous groups are researching Second Life EV batteries, but they almost always frame the technology as a science project, something that will only come to fruition after years of careful study. The Lancaster project shows we don't need to wait that long. Are you making money on that? We make good money on that. So uh, given duck curve dynamics, which is shorthand for the way in which the grid, with its reliance on solar, has low prices during the day and then ramps up in the evenings as we transition to, to peaker plants, the price signals reflect that. And so we're seeing in the summer now uh, $200 plus per megawatt hour, and we're charging these batteries for the equivalent of $25 a megawatt hour. That's, that's arbitrage right there. That's a good, that's that, that, a good that's ratio. A good play. And then you have energy sales. Uh, as you have intermittency and unexpected price spikes, we can capture that with our trading strategies in the wholesale market. And then we also uh, sell capacity into the market and some ancillary services. That's our, our revenue stack. Freeman said this energy storage project costs less than $200 per kilowatt hour to install, which is well below the norm for new lithium ion batteries. But he thinks this model will actually become more profitable as used EV batteries both become more powerful and more prevalent. And his company is already expanding this project after seeing how it's performed so far. Those will come in, like there'll be two more there. And then we'll have two and then four cabinets per DC, huh. DC converter. Gotcha. Uh, and so there'll be a lot more battery capacity out here. 